How's it going, fourth graders? It's time to do lesson 7.7. .7. We're going to be adding and subtracting mixed numbers today. So, here we go. Let's take this word problem. After a party, there were one and four six quesadillas left on one tray, and two and three six quesadillas left on another tray. How much of the quesadillas were left? Well, let's see. We need to work through this to add both mixed numbers. They're asking us to both model and record what we get. So step one is to add the fractional parts of the mixed number. It says shade to model 4, 6. All right, there's my 4, 6. And 3, 6. So I'm going to do 1, two, three. So how many six do I have shaded in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven six shaded in. Okay, step two is to shade to model one plus two, the whole numbers. So they already have one shaded in for me, so I'm going to shade in another so that's two shaded in so how many holes do I have shaded in I have three hole shaded in now the last step you see how we have an improper fraction here we want to rename it so it does not have an improper fraction anymore it's just a mixed number the way they're showing you at the bottom is three and seven six is the same as three plus 6 over 6 plus 1 over 6, right? Because 6 plus 1 is 7. So 6, 6 is the same as 1. That's shown here. It's just another way of writing it. So they're adding 3 plus 1 plus the 1, 6 from above. So now you would end up with 4 and one six. So that's it. You add up the whole numbers, you add up the fractional parts, and then if you're left with an improper fraction, you need to change it so it's just a mixed number. Let's try one where we're subtracting. Alejandro had three and four six quesadillas. His family ate two and three six of the quesadillas. How many quesadillas are left? Okay, this says shade the model to show three and four six. So let's shade one, two, three, and four six. Now it says then cross out two and three six to model the subtracting. So 2, cross out 2, and 3 of the 6. So I'm going to circle these 3 and cross them out. Okay, and then you see how many we're left with. So let's go and look over on the record side. You subtract the whole numbers. 3 minus 2 is 1. And then you subtract the numerators. 4 minus 3 is 1, 6. If you see over here, if we took these, right, and filled that in, we'd have 1, and then we'd have this last 6 left over. So it'd be 1 and 1, 6. So the difference is 1 and 1, 6. So there are 1 and 1, 6 quesadillas left. Let's try a couple of just recording. So first we're going to add the fractional parts. So let's look over in this problem. We're going to add just the numerators. We know the denominator stays the same. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Denominator stays the same. We're going to add the whole numbers. 1 plus 3 is 4. Now, 
we're left with 4 and 7 6. I bet you notice that this is an improper fraction. So we're not going to leave it like that. We're going to rewrite it. So we'd add 4 plus 6 6, right? Because we have 6 6. And we have an extra 6 to make it 7 6. So when we write that, 6 6 is the same as 1 whole plus 1 more 6. So our final answer would be 5 and 1 6. Let's try a subtra subtraction problem. So let's subtract the whole numbers. Three, 4 minus 1 is 3. Let's subtract the numerators. 2 minus 1 is 1. Denominator stays the same, as always. So, that brings us to our practice problems. Feel free to rewatch the video to see how to add and subtract mixed numbers. Otherwise, here are your two practice problems. You're adding 7 and 1 fourth plus 3 and 3 fourths. Your second problem is subtracting 4 and 5 sixths, take away 2 and 2 sixths. Have a great night.